Okay, before you flame me in the comments about the uh, title of this video, um, let me define what I'm saying exactly. What I'm saying is geodesic domes have more in common with squares than they do with circles or spheres. I'll jump on the computer and I'll show you some geodesic uh, examples of geodesic structures and I'll show you that uh, it's easier and more intuitive to use a square than it is to use a circle or a sphere. Uh, and then once you've seen the video, you can flame me after that. Okay, first up, we're going to obviously draw a square. Um, most people, I think, can manage that on a on a um, bit of card. We'll uh, get that knocked together and make it into a face. Voila. Okay, next up, uh, we'll build a golden rectangle. Again, we're basing this on our square. You take a, a, a line and draw it from the centre of one edge to a corner and then you rotate that line up like so and that gives you the dimensions of a golden rectangle all you have to do from there is fill the edges in so we end up with a golden rectangle and a square still nothing to do with circles at the minute Uh, we'll move into um, isometric view now because we're going switching from flat to uh, three-dimensional. Let's separate these a wee bit. We'll start with the easiest one, obviously, the square. Uh, we take our square and all we're, all we're going to do, we are doing rotation, but it's still nothing to do with a sphere. We take this um, square and we uh, this is a trick in SketchUp, if you don't know. Just click there and then click and click somewhere else it'll rotate around that axis but if you click and hold it and pull a line see the little tiny dotted line that becomes your axis and then we do a copy paste by pressing op option and you can see that we can we now rotate in, in this plane so we'll uh, we need to get that rotation of 90 degrees so we've taken our square and we've rotated it along this diagonal 90 degrees. From that point, let me just get a nice angle. We can join the corners. And this is, I'm going to colour it in red because it's, I feel like it. Uh, here we go, let's go red. That's an equilateral triangle. And if we rotate this triangle around, like so, right, you can see that we've created an octahedron. It's not commonly used, to be fair, in um, geodesic structures. The icosahedron is more commonly used. This has all been done by uh, copy pasting from a square. Okay, let's move on to oh, what would seem a more complicated structure. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, run a diagonal across here. This is the golden rectangle which we made from the square. And what we're going to do is we're going to um, rotate again. So we do from the middle and we're going to make that our axis 90 degrees and then we're going to do another rotation not a copy rotation, we're just going to rotate the, rotate the same part. There we go, we do that. Then we're going to copy rotate this one. And then we're going to repeat that second rotation. Let's go from the centre. There we go, 90 degrees. Just check your angles and everything. 
Uh, all of the, this is why I did a cross, so that they all should end up in the center. And we end up with three golden rectangles, all rotated twice. And then from there, all we do is we join the corners together. This produces another equilateral triangle, and that is one face of an icosahedron. So all we do is we, you can either, I would recommend making this into a component and rotating it round, but you can draw, you can draw them in just as easy. So we have a icosahedron and a octahedron. You've got to agree that we did not do anything with circles or spheres to that point. In my upcoming book, uh, Geodesic Geometry, I show how you can take the icosahedron or octahedron and build any polyhedron you can imagine. Um, for those of you who don't believe that we can go from here to any other poly polyhedron, uh, suggest something in the comments, uh, something complex if you want, and I'll demonstrate how you can go from the octahedron or icosahedron to any other polyhedron or geodesic structure you can imagine. I'll leave a link in the description about uh, the book. We'll probably be running a Kickstarter shortly, um, so if you're interested, you might want to um, check out those links. Thanks for watching, um, and we'll see you in the next one.